Pretty today featuring this category famous hotels. Think about it, make your way to the back of the month. Well, that was one of the more embarrassing category misses in Jeopardy history, I gotta say. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and uh, one of the first things you're taught to memorize if you're going on Jeopardy is World Capitals, and none of the three players tonight knew any of those. And they're even regionally restricted. That kind of daily double is something that I would go all in on every time. Especially when you only have, what, eight or nine to choose from. All right, we got Pamela in the lead, 12,000. Carter in second with 10, 2, and Christian, 7,600. A wise wager, given uh, his lack of knowledge in that category. And he's still alive, so let's see what everyone should do. Carter doubles up, he's got 20,400, so Pamela, 8,400. She's wrong, she'll be left with 3,600, so let's do Christian first, 4,000 at most. And uh, 3,600 is going to be uh, 666, right? 6,600? 2,600 difference, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and if Christian doubles up, he's going to have 15,2. So uh, for Pamela, that's 3,200. And for Carter, 15,2, it's be 5,000. So Carter has a tight range here. With which to work if he's wrong, he's got 5,200, so if I'm Christian, uh, I'm going to cap my wager at 2,400, is that right? 26, 26, 26 yeah, okay, 2,400. Get rid of that. I guess he could take into consideration, uh, if Pamela misses, what is that going to be? 90, 8,800, so at least 1,200, I'm not too worried about that. Let's move on. I haven't really thrown these in a while, it's fun. Let's play some mind games now. If Carter goes to the 6,600 amount, you have 16, 8, so 4,800 at least for Pamela. Get rid of that. If, uh, yeah, I'm not doing, let's see, 4,800 if she misses, that's going to be 72, so at most 3,000. That's another weird cap and 400 here, I guess. If Christian goes to his 2,400, the Mount of Fishmonger. That's a great title. I love that title. Fishmonger, Cheesemonger. Uh, don't really like Warmonger, but Monger is such a cool word. Uh, this 2400, that's 10,000 even. So I guess Carter could cap this at 200 if he wanted to, and uh, Pamela could cap at 2000, but she'd probably rather cap at 1600 to play mind games against Carter. She feels really compelled to do that. Uh, I think we can keep going on to our third order wagers. 1800, 3600, nothing there. Oh crap, I'm running out of time. 1800 most, uh, that's good. You got that already. And at least uh, 2600. Alright, I'm out of time. Let's play here. This is what happens when I say bad things about players. I run out of time in my analysis. This is a fairly narrow category. Famous hotels. Here's the clue, players. The painting seen here, a vicious circle, hangs in this hotel, in the room that's portrayed in the painting. 30 seconds. Good luck. I spelled that right. Al Algonquin? Algonquin? I think it's spelled that way. I must pronounce Obviously, it's Dorothy Parker at the far left. And the Algonquin Circle. And, uh, funny, Sarah McNitt was just in town this past weekend and she, uh, and, uh, she had suggested that we go there. The site of the famous round table lunches where some famous people would uh, exercise their brilliant wits. Christian, we come to you first. You were in third place with 7,600, and you wrote down what is the Chelsea wrong hotel. It's going to cost you how much? 75.99. You're Why? Let's go to our champion, Carter Spires. Yeah, we... His response was the Bellagio. Nope. Not in Vegas. You lose 5,000. 51.99 as we come to Pamela Stewart, who's not looking very happy. 
because she wrote down the Savoy. No, we're talking about the famous Algonquin Hotel and the round table lunches with uh, Benchley and Dorothy Parker. It's going to cost you something, Pamela. How much? 8401 Bugis. That means that our champion, Carter Spires, with only 5199. Well, it was a good game up until the, uh, the Central American clue, and I'm sad that no one got that one. I actually keyed in first on some, one of those guys had a New Yorker in his hand, so that really narrowed it down to what city. And, uh, I think if, if Carter had seen that, he wouldn't have gone for someone in Vegas. And Savoy, I think that would be in London, right? Savoy Theater and such. Uh, yeah, so bad wager cost Christian the match here. He was in third place, but a tough clue. Could have worked to his favor had he thought through his bet a little better. I have a lot to talk about today. The uh, I'm just going to turn this off and get a little distracted by the post-game chat, the uh, Raphael clue, I could tell the writers wanted Archangel there, but uh, they didn't key it properly. There are only three Archangels you really need to know, at least in Christianity. There's Gabriel, Michael, and Raphael. Uh, the uh, the Makepeace clue, I thought that was pretty clever, but if you know Richard Makepeace Thackeray, then that's really easy to get. It sometimes helps to know middle names, especially the weird ones. Can't think of any others off the top of my head, but there's plenty. Uh, the oh, the zombie run thing. That's funny. I have I know some people who do that too. Uh, I've never tried it myself, but it sounds like a fun way to uh, get motivated. I know I have problems getting off the couch, or as you will, figuratively, uh, and getting out for a run from time to time, and that would be one thing that could help. What else we got? Uh, that cribbage clue, that picture, I used a very similar clue uh, in a recent quiz that I wrote with Jack and three fives and also a board. And uh, I guess no one there knows cribbage either. It's just sad because it's a great game. It's really fun to play if uh, you don't have anything else to do or if you're on a ship because that's where they play cribbage. Uh, Hardvark and Anteater. I I gotta say, I never realized those were the exact same thing. I thought they were two separate species. Very similar, but distinct in some way. Maybe they are. Maybe there's just a, a lazy clue. Uh, I'm more partial to the Ard Wolf myself. That's one of the joys of flipping through the Scrabble dictionary. And by flipping through, I mean looking at the first page, really. You find all sorts of funny words like that. And, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess we'll end it there. I've, I've talked enough. We will see if Carter can make it three tomorrow or if uh, he'll run into a wall. It's going to be Thursday, so we'll see what he ate at lunch at the commissary. I'll always go for the tuna fish. That's my move. Well, never worked out for me, but couldn't hurt, I'm sure. We will see you then, right here. That was a pathetic throw. On the final wager.